Wood River, Illinois has an historic past. In May 1804, Lewis and Clark departed from Wood River in the spirit of discovery and new beginnings on their famous expedition to explore and map America. Approximately a century later, Standard Oil opened the Wood River Refinery, creating many good-paying jobs for the people of Wood River. After successfully operating in the area for the better part of a century, changes in the global economy caused the refinery to close in 1980. Since then, this site has gone through a new era of dramatic transformation, bringing expansion and progression that will greatly benefit the community and environment in a new way. Since removal of refining facilities and equipment from the nearly 800-acre site, BP worked with the City of Wood River, the Wildlife Habitat Council, and many other partners to restore an industrial brown field back to its natural state. The original BP refinery site would be divided into two properties, the riverfront and the main plant. The riverfront area is nestled next to the Mississippi River floodplain, covering approximately 200 acres, while the rest of the plant is being divided into many parcels for various uses. One of the first regions to emerge with a new spirit is the Wildlife Enhancement Area, also known as Deer Park. It covers more than 40 acres at the southeast end of the property. BP created Deer Park to maintain our existing relationship with the community and, and keep uh, our relationship important on a going forward basis. We wanted to create a learning opportunity for the students in the community and provide a green space where people could go and, and relax from their daily lives. The creation of raptor perches, bird boxes, and natural grasslands has the park teeming with wildlife. Many animals, such as white-tailed deer, wild turkeys, foxes, coyotes, eagles, and other native species can be seen. Public access to the park is available daily, and wildlife viewing is made possible through the use of an elevated observation platform. In addition, BP took an interest in pursuing habitat enhancement projects, such as corporate lands for learning, which benefits local students. High school biology students were invited to Deer Park to help design and install a native pollinator flower garden. BP and Wood River has recently developed a similar project that coincides with school curriculum. Prior to planting, students completed an in-class lesson researched native plant species and drew a map of their proposed garden. After completing their research, students visited the site and worked with a master gardener to execute their design. It is considered an outdoor laboratory by teachers and successfully provided a safe habitat for wildlife and a natural treasure for the community. The Corporate Lands for Learning project here at BP Wood River is really amazing. They've worked with local schools to identify what native plants they should plant on the site, and they've, the school students have actually come here to the site to plant the plants themselves. Partnerships played a very important role in, in meeting our goals at the site. We've partnered with the Wildlife Habitat Council to um, move the site forward in regards to learning opportunities for the children in the local school district. They've worked with the schools, with the local community to establish a Corporate Lands for Learning and a Wildlife at Work project here at Deer Park. Through the diligent work of BP employees, outside partners, local students and teachers, BP was able to take the proper steps in recovering their lands to a healthy natural state. The project went on to be certified by the Wildlife Habitat Council for Wildlife at Work and Corporate Lands for Learning. The efforts of many dedicated people can be an inspiration and a promising example of what can be accomplished when partners come together to achieve a common goal. It's been good. I believe the community appreciates it as much as we do. In the spirit of Lewis and Clark, today, the people of Wood River have the chance to rediscover historical lands in their natural state. <laughs>